that you've made here during the past two months. Yes. But I'm not giving them to you. You refer to my equipment as junk. <laughs> it's still junk. Give them to me. Oh, no, no. This happens to be part of a record of my research. Now, I've answered a great deal of questions from you, but you haven't answered one of mine. So, as fellow investigators, a part of, of, of my research information in exchange for a part of yours. Yet you say that it's dangerous. It's evil. Yes. Then it can hardly be the ghost of that poor soldier. The man who killed him, perhaps. No, this force is not human. But you said. It simply draws its power from emotional responses of the human kind. You mean the human soul? No, not mean the human soul. I mean, responses. Like what? Like hatred. Anger, resentment. You're trying to tell me that this force thrives upon feelings, thrives upon some of the worst human feelings? Yes. Of living people? No. Preferably the dead. Enough. 
Yes. Now, how can this force use the persona of the dead? Because the persona lives on. Where? In the atmosphere. It only has to be activated. All right, so where do you... Exchange is over. It is not. I let your friend have four tape recordings. All I've had so far in return is a few hints about how dead people. Mr. Tully! Ah, just the man I wanted. The first tape on this machine. Yes? Had it ever been used before? No. It's a blank tape. A new one. Did you check it before you used it? Of course, I always do. And? Well, I just said it was blank. <laughs> the first and only recording made with this tape was out there earlier this evening. Yes. Have you played it back since? I haven't had much chance, have I? What is it, Steele? Listen. In the name of God, please tell me who you are. I know you're here. I'm a friend. There's nothing wrong with that. Listen. So will you let me help you? Please. You can trust in me. Psychical investigation. And that could be dangerous. <laughs> 